What's up, everybody? Uh, I just want to make a quick video about the Motorola MB8600 or any other modem you may own that your internet company said that you need to replace, even though you just bought it and it says pretty much future proof. Um, like this right here, certified, blah, blah, blah. Um, both today and for years to come and you're confused as in why, you know, they're telling you you need to update your modem or whatnot because they updated their speeds and it's over a gig, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, what I think I figured out and I'm not, I'm <laughs> far from a, an expert on this stuff. I couldn't tell you half the time about what is what, but on this particular one, and I don't know about the other ones, but you can take this panel off right here and it's got more uh, ports, Ethernet ports on the back, WAN ports or whatever. And then you can bond them if you have a router that supports bonding and you'll get the higher bandwidth so you can run your internet speeds that your your um, uh, internet provider tells you that you can't, but you really can. So like right here that says, LAN ports allow connection of a single device with the internet port, including a router. Multiple internet ports are not connected to multiple devices. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Is that not right? Yep. To a router that can bond more than one internet port to achieve speeds over one gig when supported by your, your cable service. So I think there's a lot of people out there right now that are replacing their modem and they don't have to. And the internet companies aren't aren't willing to tell them about it either. Because and luckily I have a router. This is an old oldish router, but it supports it. So it's probably what I'm gonna end up doing anyway, just to be safe, right? I mean because the guy that sold me this router or modem. I'm only selling because my ISP increased the maximum internet bandwidth and I need to buy a new modem that could maximize the speeds. In fact, this unit works so well that I just bought another Motorola modem and I have no issues with this one. See, he, I think he, he thinks he has to do that. And I also read on Reddit, a guy was pissed about this and he's like, listen, I can just run this and it'll work. And he said that the, his provider said that he has to get another one and that one's not supported anymore. But people that commented on it underneath said that, if you go to the webpage, it's still on there and it is supported, but they're not going to help you. Like it's like the next tier down where they don't give you offer support. So I really do think the internet providers are trying to screw you like they always do. But again, I don't know much about this stuff. I'm not very good with the internet uh, lingo or whatnot, but I, I found that out and I just thought it might help some people that are, you know, the internet providers are telling you you have to, upgrade when you just got a good modem which isn't cheap this one's still going for like 150 and i got it for 39 so luckily you know i found somebody that didn't know no better i guess and i feel bad but so yeah i just figured that was a good tip for anybody that might be having problems all right crash out